Couldn't find any videos of the SDR1 by Electronics is Fun and Henchman Labs online. So I thought I would make the first video so that folks can see how it operates, uh, what the screen looks like, what the box looks like, uh, its own operating software, which is right here, which is uh, indicative of, um, uh, what is that, um, <laughs> Power STR. <laughs> Uh, it is ind indicative of that. It looks just like it. Um, I mean, it uses a lot of the same functions. Anyway, this is its screen. The very gorgeous uh, white lettering on blue. I'll turn it up right now. I got it on uh, 20 meters. Listening to some post chat. It's on high boost uh, two. I got it in pan adapter mode too. Yeah, it's very narrow. Uh, the transmit filter, which is menu 25, uh, where do you have uh, the low cut set right now in menu 25? Alright, I'm gonna take it around it. Turn some light in here. <clears throat> Very sharp what he did with the front there. Alright. Um, I'm sitting on top of it. I got my uh, K42 keyer. Not going to hurt anything putting that on top of that though. Can you uh, set it to format pass FP? Okay. Um, do you have a choice? All right, they're on the back. Consider oh, I've got my antenna, uh, antenna combiner, if you will, splitter. I use this. Basically, it takes one antenna and lets you use uh, the same antenna for two radios. And since I'm not going uh, with a hardware radio anymore, I'm strictly SDR. There's the back of. Uh, yeah, it's a little cleaner. It's the back of the SDR one. Got four inputs into it. That's why I'm using for my antenna switch. So now if I switch it over to the other one. Okay. Now it's sending it off to my soft rock ensemble too. But I don't have it on, so that's why we're not hearing anything. But it would be on if uh, I had it on. And you'd hear it. So I'll flick click this back. Alright. My sound blaster card it picks okay, up uh, yeah. now, samples rather at 96. So. Uh, 96,000, I believe, or 96 rather, rather than 48, that's a lot better. So now I'm going to take you around a little bit in the software application show you the different things you can do. First of all, I want you to see the screen here on this fellow change as I change it within the uh, band. We'll go find some other fellows up here. See, I've got other signals uh, here. The one I'm on. There's two guys talking right here. Yeah, I'll leave this here, I think. Can't really do that. Anyway, let's go to the other ones down here. So it's simple as right click, put it where you want it, left click. There you are. Well, that's pan adapter. Now, I know in certain editions of Power SDR, they combined a pan adapter on the top and put a waterfall underneath. 
pan a waterfall, I think they called it, but under this particular version, um, he hasn't integrated the two together yet. There is a waterfall here, but I really don't care for the waterfall, to be quite honest with you. Even though you can change all the colors, I don't, I don't really understand it quite yet. So I'll go back to my pan adapter and I use my AGV automatic uh, gain over a period of time, I think it is. All right, then you can hit peak. So it's showing you where everything's peaking so I can go right to it if I want. So here's another one. So as long as this uh, yellow line is here, all you gotta do is just keep clicking it. And it'll go to the new signal. But I like using the AGV better. AVG. Pick a good one here. There we go. Okay, now I right click it again and that'll go away. This green sets my filter width. I got my various filters over here. The boom is uh, uh, 60 feet, uh, uh, 0.5, uh, and uh, the, have the 60 feet on the 4 watts, and 25 the beef on the front. Very narrow. Oh, 270 is pretty good. Oh, it's doing a fine job, because I got you the uh, center over now. Your signal went up. I could yeah, throw some attenuation in here. Uh, I got a lot of trees. So I had to get a, uh, See, it kills a lot of the uh, strong noise away. But, it does a good job but it's not overbearing right now, so no attenuation okay, needed. Uh, uh, the three element beam, uh, uh, I'm like uh, this uh, small beam by uh, uh, this to the wind. Uh, it's got all your noise reduction uh, stuff in it. Uh, noise reduction. <laughs> DSP features. Noise blanker. Noise blanker too. BIN, which sounds pretty daggone nice. And Anna. A bin is binaural outputs for I and Q on the left and right audio channels. Boy, does it sound nice with Ben on there. The nice thing is about pan adapters, you can clearly see where the audio is peaking, where somebody's talking, you know they're doing it there, you know that they're doing it here, they're doing it right here, so you really don't need a waterfall per se, plus you can see your spectrum sampling from uh, 14220 to 14300 over here. I don't even have, I don't have it zoomed in, I'm sampling at 96 like I said. There it is, zoomed out a little bit. Turn off Ben, it's, it's alright. Now under my setup for audio, right now I don't have VAC enabled, which is virtual audio cable. Uh, it's my line in, my sound blaster, so I'm sampling at 9600, there you go. Or 96000, I'm sorry. Buffer size is very large at 4096. larger this buffer, the better it sounds. Go to VAC, I could enable it if I want, and you'll listen to a difference. Yeah, I got a few pieces of the MFJ products. I like them real well. VAC. VAC off. And right now I've got it enabled for digital modes, disabled for all other modes. I'll apply. I'll say OK. There you have it. I appreciate the contact with you, with the permission uh, and salute your family and your friend with all the best and happy new year and anytime you are welcome. Good weekend, God bless, good 73. Okay, Peter, 73. And there you go. Right, here's the main uh, screen. This screen is gorgeous. America, reduce the new arcade and what is the prefix, please? 
I'm gonna come over to another one real quick. And that is the SDR-1 by Electronics Fund and really? Henchman Labs. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Dan, go ahead, please. let's try um, WWV. There's two ways to do it. I can do it the way I'm doing it now using my mouse pad. I'll set it over here to SAM. Okay. Or I can put it in AM if I want, because it is AM. But SAM sounds so much better. There we go. So you can hear it quite nicely. Let's try 10. Like I said, there's two ways to get to it. You can either do it this way with a mouse, or you can go to the WWV button, which is here. Click on it. There's 20. 2.5. 5, 10, 15, 20, and back to 2.5 again. Now BCST will take you out to uh, medium wave. So right now I'm looking for a, a local broadcast station at 1370. Uh, actually it's 1470. Pick up one. Now you can hear some interference from another station. So our filter is very wide at 12, so I'm thinking that we should go to try 6.6, try 3.1, 4, 5, 2. There you go. So I'm going to take, uh, put a little wider filter. Go to, I'm going to go down to 800 because that's up in Canada. Now I'm down in Ohio and this is all the way up in Canada. This is about 60 miles from here, so it's not too far. But still 60 miles away and picking it up like this, that's awesome. And it's on AM, so I'm going to try SAM. All right, there we go. I gotta play around with it because there's all so many controls and so much you can do with this. It, it's gonna take all day just to figure it out. Go down here to another station. There you go. We'll go to down to, back to. Uh, let's try seven megahertz. All right, seven seven megahertz, seven point zero two two or forty meters. Forty meters. We'll try that. Now its CW capabilities are great. There's all kinds of CWs popping in here uh, that I can see. I'm gonna go ahead and get it on one. Put it into that mode, CWL, and you can hear it. Here's another one right here. Okay, they're not really sending anything, per se. Let's try to get another signal in.
Okay. And there's your CW. So I'm going to take it, put it into LSB, kick it up the band a little bit, get into some voice. is very small so it needs to be much bigger so I just caught that I had my filter stuck in one kilohertz instead of 2.9 so it makes a big difference two nine sounds pretty good I'll just scroll across the band here. There you go, they have it in that. So, okay, thank you. There you there go. Nice fella. The SDR1 does show the receiving frequency and megahertz. I'm sure it would say kilohertz when I go to kilohertz. Uh, the receiving bank, 5.5 to 11.5. And whether you have attenuation on, which right now it's at 0 dB. I would like to have it uh, actually say what mode you're in on here. Uh, basically saying 7.9 and with M, maybe MZ right there and say USB here or CW or whatever. Maybe you can put it down in here. Or I don't care about the attenuation, so replace that with a, basically a telling you what mode you're in, which is awesome. So let's see if it changes when I put it into uh, medium wave to hertz. Okay, it doesn't really say it's same uh, 5.540 megahertz. Okay, the lowest I go down is about 520 megahertz, so. so there you have it. Here's 10 meters. I haven't heard a whole lot, or uh, not 10 meters, 30 meters. I haven't heard a lot of people. I do think it's slick. It tells you what meters you're in underneath the frequency, which is awesome. So you don't have to guess. So you know that 14 is 20 meters. Okay, let's go. I've been hearing some guys lately in uh, 17 meters here talking. fellas right here. Uh, one right here. I'll look for a good one and hop on it. There you go. There's 17 meters, and this guy's talking from San Diego, California, and I'm in Ohio. So it's doing great. Doing the trip. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is the SDR-1 receiver. Made by Electronics is fun and Hinchman Labs. 73 is all.